it did. I never imagined I would remarry. Play for Damastar. What if I was wrong? Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, Sean Tanktop. I just wanted to let you guys know that this episode is brought to you by our patrons. All the people that are signed up on our bar regular tier on our Patreon are watching this video completely full and uncut right now, and you can get early access with them all throughout Season 1 of House of the Dragon and all of our bar reaction coverage if you sign up today. So we hope you guys consider doing that. Thanks a lot for stopping by, and enjoy the video. assembled in his honor. And surely by the end of this hunt, we shall have more to celebrate. And what is that, pray tell? It is Egan's second main day. His infancy is behind him. It only remains for Viserys to name him heir to the throne. I wouldn't be so sure. He's the king's firstborn son. I don't know that his grace sees it so clearly. Then it lies with you to make him see it, Lord Han. Your grace. The cover of dark. Not today, Tyler. The matter of the stepstones is regrettably urgent. It's been three years. It can wait another three days. Can someone tell me where in the seven hells Rhaenyra might be? Under the dragon's eyes. Under the dragon's eyes. Again. 
perhaps the princess might like to hear something else. She would not play it again. Your Grace. Do I say to stop? From the beginning. You may go, Samuel. You have to stay by order of the princess. The queen commands you to leave the godswood at once. Hail, hail, Edward the Conqueror of Age, second of his name. Here's to his grace on his second name day. Your dear uncle is the great mind behind this war, is he not? I wouldn't know, I've not spoken to Damon in years. Since you supplanted him as heir. Damon made his choices, Lady Kira. And the princess was more suited to the royal. He's made a mess and the king must put an end to it. Send fleets and men and clear out the triarchy for good. <laughs> but the crown is not at war. The crown is it war? Princess, we've been dragged into it by your uncle and the sea snake. And how have you served the run of late, Lady Red Wine? By eating cake. <laughs> is your own second name there as grand as this? I honestly don't recall, and neither will Egan. Lord Jason Lannister. Gather that from all the lions. I don't think you've been properly introduced. A twin serves in my father's council. Thailand is frightfully dull, God's loving. The finest honey boy you'll ever taste. Made in Lansport, of course. Of course. <clears throat> no, but the best sport is to be found at Castle Rock, near my home. Have you been? Um, once. It's been said that if one were to stand at a tower, on a perfect day, one could see clear across the sunset sea. It must be quite something. Mm, I don't have a dragon pit, of course, but I do have the means and resources to build one. Why would you need a dragon pit? Dow's dragons, of course. I'd do anything for my queen. Or lady wife. Thank you for the wine. Your age, Mira. And Jason Lannister is an excellent match. She's arrogant and so serious. Well, I thought you might have that in common. Since you came of age, I stood with you. But you've refused me at every turn. That is because I do not wish to get married. Even I do not exist about tradition and duty, Rhaenyra. Excuse me, Your Grace. I named heir to the Iron Throne so that I might only further raise the standing of a Lord of Castle Rock. Do you want me to kill him? <laughs> you should return to camp, Princess. And when your father named me to his King's Guard, it was the highest honour any coal had ever known. All that I have, I owe to you. No, I hardly call that toothless princess. I would be honoured to take the Princess Renera to wife, Your Grace. What I offer you, the crown and your daughter, is strength. <laughs> Do you think that House Targaryen wants for strength? Do you have dragons to offer? Castle Rock is a splendid seat. 
Brunera may take her place there by my side without shame and feel herself well compensated for her loss in station. What loss of station? If you were to name young Avon heir, Your Grace. And when would I be doing that? I had assumed, as is your firstborn son, many of us had assumed... Many of us, you say? Have your banner men questioned my choice of heir? Of course not, Your Grace. It is your sworn duty to report rebellion stirring in my kingdom. Rebellion? There has been nothing of the sort, Your Grace. I, 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 I did not decide to name Renera my heir on a whim. All the lords of the kingdom would do well to remember that. Thank you for the gift. Your Grace. Jason's proposal. That man's pride has pride. <laughs> you're not only Rhaenyra's father, you're the king. She'll do as you command. It's not my wish to command her. To... I want her to be happy. There is another choice beyond Castle Rock. One, perhaps, you might be more comfortable with. One closer to home. Who do you have in mind? Prince Egon. <laughs> the boy just turned two, Otto. Yes, but it would cease the endless proposals for a year's <laughs> hand. <laughs> oh, I can't be at home. to be suffocated by all this fucking politicking. Let us speak no more of it. King Jaharis ruled over half a century of peace while his children drove him to the edge of madness. His daughters, in particular. It is tradition, Your Grace. It would seem to me the best match for Rhaenyra is the son of the sea snake, Sir Lenor. Some years ago I counseled you to take his sister to wife. My reasoning remains the same. We must pray, of course, that Lenor survives the fighting in the Stepstones. these flames I saw it. A male babe born to me wearing the conqueror's crown. That's so hard to get to be true. To be a dreamer myself. I came again. 
I put all my thought and will into it. My obsession killed Rhaenyra's mother. The Cyrus. I thought Rhaenyra was the way out of my abyss of grief and regret. But naming her heir would begin to set things right. Oh, it did. I never imagined I would remarry. I would have a son. What if I was wrong? 